What's up, insiders? Welcome to this week's News Flash. Because if it's Tuesday, it's Newsday. Now, before we get into this week's updates, two things I want to throw out there. Number one, we're about to hit our 500,000 subscriber milestone, and that's in no small part due to the engagement that you've provided to us over the past couple of years. So thank you. If you've any ideas around how we should celebrate this milestone, we'd love to hear them. So let us know what you think in the comments below. Secondly, I'll be recording from Dublin, Ireland next week. If you have any landmark you want me to take a photo in front of and make it our thumbnail, let me know and we'll make it happen. For now, let's get into this week's updates. All right, first up, we're gonna discuss shorts. We've launched a shorts shelf on the trending page that will surface the most popular shorts by location. Shorts videos will be filtered out of trending results and will instead appear as a shelf. The goal here is to improve the user experience of the trending page. We're beginning to roll this out across the US, UK, Canada, Australia, Brazil, Germany, India, France, Indonesia, and MENA, with more regions to follow. Sticking with shorts, creators have been notified that they can claim their shorts fund bonuses based on their shorts March performance. And if you thought we were done with shorts, you're out of luck, we've got one more great update. As we continue to work to ensure a more consistent experience of shorts across surfaces, we're rolling out a shorts tab and home shelf across three new surfaces. They are desktop, tablet, and mobile web. So it's easier for you to discover and watch shorts. Now, if you want to send us any feedback, you can click on the three dot menu within the shorts player and select send feedback. Next up, let's discuss a launch. This one is called multi-image posts on iOS. We're happy to announce that we're launching the ability for creators to create multi-image posts on iOS, something that is available to creators on Android and desktop. As a refresher, you can now make your posts more dynamic by posting up to five images instead of just one. Let us know if you've any feedback in the comments below. And finally, let's touch on a video sorting update. We circled back with the team working on video sorting features and wanted to provide more clarity around the removal of the oldest to newest option for sorting at the channel level. Now the team is considering further options, but there were a couple of reasons around the removal. The first being that it is the least used sorting option platform wide. The second reason is that due to the way it was built years ago, maintaining that sorting feature would be very costly and would provide an inconsistent viewer experience across devices. But we've heard your feedback and we'll take it into consideration going forward. And that's about it for this week's News Flash. From the creators of YouTube to YouTube creators, make sure you like and subscribe. We'll see you next week.